No substitute for water. Each of us will die in just a few days without it. When two million people in India die due to unsafe water, So, what do we do to conserve water? We must reuse the past, recycle the present and thus renew the future. Conserve water by recycling it. And we have decided to start this journey towards water conservation from our school itself. We, the students of Srimati Sulojana Devi Singhanya School, present the Grey Water Recycling System. Located on a lush 13-acre compound, our school has over 7,000 students and 50 teachers. As compared to the other schools in our city, we produce an enormous amount of water every day, with 8 washrooms per floor and each washroom having 4 toilets and 4 sinks, we have over 64 toilets and 204 sinks in total. Statistics show that 5 litres of water is required per flush and one water facet tap uses 6 litres of water. Hence, on an average of 1 hour, our school generates 1600 litres of water. This huge amount of grey water produced is neither recycled nor reused. Thus, we decided to take up this crucial issue of wastewater generation and create a model about the cost-effective grey water recycling plant with the minimum usage of electricity and manpower. Although we currently do not have the infrastructure, we hope that this model paves the way toward a greener and more sustainable future for our school. Wastewater from the wash basins contains a lot of toxins and is not fit to use for other purposes. The grey water recycling plant we have designed comprises of four main parts. The collection, biofilter, sand gravel filter and the surge tank. Biofilter functions as a filter for the physical components of grey water. These include food particles, dirty water, hair, dust particles and other solid particles which cannot be separated by the filter easily. Sand gravel filter which consists of alternate layers of sand and gravel which helps to filter out the soap water, pathogens, viruses and microscopic impurities. The water is then collected into the surge tank. Here, clean and purified water flows a little at a time and is stored for further use. This completes our purification process and the clean water flows from the outlet of the surge tank to be used as the flush of the draining system. As you can see, the model we have created does not make use of any electricity or energy of any kind. This makes the recycling process of water sustainable, cost-effective and eco-friendly. Water flows from one end of the drainage system to the other mainly due to hydraulic pressure. Grey water recycling is a much needed method of sustainability which will not only help our school achieve a green milestone but also help the city and its residents become greener, more aware and organic. By implementing grey water recycling in our school, we can save around 50% of the water we produce daily. This potentially harms our water bills as well as our water footprint and helps us be green and sustainable. By recycling water in our school, we may set an example for all the schools in our district to follow. Furthermore, it's a smarter use of resources. When we use grey water in our flushes, we are getting twice as much good out of that water, first from the sinks and then to the toilets. Furthermore. When you clean it on site, you are reducing the effort and infrastructure invested in moving this water to a treatment facility far away. Moreover, unlike a rainwater harvesting system which relies on rainfall, grey water is in plentiful supply on a daily basis. The more clean water that you use to wash yourself, your food and your dishes in school as well as your home, the more grey water you will have to recycle. As a result, by implementing the grey water harvesting system in our schools, we will help our school achieve a green milestone and encourage the others around us in our city to do the same. Thank you. <laughs>